Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the background warp effect. So first of all you need a clip on which you want to apply this effect. So in my case that's my clip. And with this clip selected go to your first frame and go into fusion. Now select your media in one node and press ctrl C and ctrl V to duplicate your background one node. Okay so now I change the positions a little bit. So it's really important that this arrow is yellow and this arrow is green. Then select this media in one node with the green arrow and press shift and space by the same time. Search for magic mask. Select magic mask and press add. And this magic mask is only available in the studio version. So if you don't got the studio version, then just watch this video so you can see how to rotoscope for free. But in my case, I just draw a mask around my person. And I select this little left view button so that I can see what I have masked out. So for me this mask looks fine so I go into the inspector and I change the mode from faster to better. And then I start tracking by hitting this button. And as you can see we've got some trouble with the masking of the white parts so I just hit this reset button. And I try the same procedure as before but in another frame. Do this until you are satisfied with your mask. Alright, so in my case the mask looks fine. Now I just want to select both of these nodes and I press Ctrl C. Then I click into this field right here and I press Ctrl V. After I've done that I just connect the magic mask 2 to my merge 1 node. Okay, and now we can start with the background warp effect. So first of all I select my magic mask 1 and I press shift and space by the same time. I search for this place. And I select this displace node and I press add. And then I just drag and drop one fast noise node into this node field and I connect it with the displace node. So now it should look like this. Alright, so with the fast noise selected I go into the inspector and I increase the detail to around 7.5. Then I increase the contrast a little bit. And I increase the scale to its maximum. Okay, so that's it for the fast noise node and now I go to the displace node. And here I change the refraction strength to around 1.2. I decrease the offset a little bit and I increase the spread to around 1.7. Then I go to my first frame and I select my fast noise node. And I create a keyframe at the center x and center y values as well as on a scale value. Then I go to the last frame of my clip. And I slightly decrease the scale. And I change the center x and center y values to my liking. And now the result looks like this. So maybe you see the shiny part above her head, like this line here. And if you don't want this shiny line, then go back into fusion. Then go to your second magic mask and decrease the erode and dilate value. And now you don't see the line anymore. And of course if you want you can change the displace values and the fast noise values to your liking. But that's the way how I have done this effect so I hope this video has helped you. If so then leave a like or sub to my channel. Also there is a nice Black Friday week coming with ejuice.com. So don't miss this chance to get some nice effects and transitions and check the first link in the description below. And if you want to learn some more stuff about DaVinci Resolve then just watch one of these two videos right here. And yeah, thanks for your support, stay creative and bye.